Hello Station students, I'm going to be reviewing how you should be using your variables and operators for our maze challenge. You might have had one day already starting with your maze where you might be, as we call it, straight coding it, where you're just typing in your distances. You know that on the grid system, each square was 200 millimeters, but on this maze, it might be different. I've set up the beginning of my code to take me to goal B. Now you'll notice I've started with my comment of the title of uh, what I'm saving this project as, I've put my pen down, and I've got my first comment or simple statement of where I'm going. I'm going to be practicing with the letters, but you will be going to the numbers. If I refresh and start my challenge and hit play, you'll see the car moving. It's going along, but it's hitting the wall. Therefore, my 200 distance is not exactly working correctly. Now, I could go in here and change each of these to maybe 210 as I have to go in. And I'm going to change each one of these separately, which takes a lot of time. And then I'm going to refresh and try again to see how it does. Now, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for this line to see if it's in the middle of each of these columns or these walls. It's not quite there. It looks like it's going to hit the wall again, so I can move it even more. Instead of 210, I have to go back and change all these to 215 and 215. But there is a better way to do this. Rather than changing all of these separately, what we're going to do is we're going to use a variable. So if we come over to the left hand side and go to our category variables, I'd like you to make your variable. You're going to make a variable. We're going to call it my distance. You can't use spaces and if you just use the word distance, that's a saved word. So I'm just putting it into two words, or you can add an S at the end also. Submit. Notice it saved my variable that I created over here as a block, as well as over here to set distance. Now what I'm going to do, instead of changing each of these lines where I have to change the distance, I'm going to pull in my set distance and I'm going to set my distance to the number I need, maybe 215. That means every time I place my distance bubble, I can put it in there and I don't have to change each and every one of them. It will automatically change when I update it. I'll try this again to see how it works. And I've started. My line still isn't quite in the middle and I'm hitting my wall. So I would work my way up until I find my correct number. Let's go to 225. That means all of these locations have been changed to 225 automatically. I would refresh and try again. Now, I'm looking to see if my robot is in the middle of each of these. It was doing better, but not quite there. Let's try 250. And one more time. It now looks like my robot's in the middle of all of my walls. Notice it came down here instead of 200, as I started, or 400. This was the line of code that it was taking all the way down this longer strip. Instead of putting in my distance, which is 250, I'm going to use an operator, and that's this green category over here. You can use the pluses or the multipliers. I like to use the multipliers. I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to use my distance in the first part. Notice when I drop that in, I have to line up the beginning of this bubble to put it in the right location. And now I'm going to drop this right in here. Notice I line up the front and it highlights and it drops right in. Instead of going my 400 there, I'm going to go my distance and it looks like it's going once and twice, maybe double that distance. I'm going to use an operator and use times two 
so it goes down that distance. We'll refresh, we'll try again, and this time I'm looking to make sure my line is in the middle of my maze, and it goes down all the way and turns right. And that looks like a great start to my first goal. Now, that is how we are wanting you to use my distance. Please do not set another my distance and change it for the next goal. This distance should stay the same, 250, all the way through your maze, and you should be using your operators as a multiplier or addition or whatever else you need to get you through this maze. So I'm only using one set distance as 250 to get through my maze and work your way through the whole maze. You, If you'd like, you can change the pen color for each goal. I believe for this challenge, you are working your way from uh, challenge number or goal number one, two, three, and four, all the way to the red checkered box. Good luck.